entire occlusal of the arch. Being sure to keep the wand flat on the occlusal, I'll steadily bring the wand towards the anterior. When I reach the bicuspid, I'll simply continue by swiping across the anterior, tilting slightly to the lingual at the contralateral bicuspid, and then proceed by moving the tip straight back to the opposing terminal molar. Once I've reached the most terminal tooth, I'll rotate to the lingual. I'll bring the cable end of the wand out to the side and maintain a 45 degree angle of the wand tip to the lingual surface. Using a twisting motion, I'll continue around the entire arch, being sure to capture the interproximal anatomy of the entire lingual surface. After I've completed the lingual, I'll rotate to the buckle and use a rocking motion as I move towards the anterior to capture the interproximal anatomy of the buckle. Bringing the cable end towards the arch will capture the mesial interproximal anatomy, and taking the cable end away from the arch will capture the distal interproximal anatomy. Now that I've completed scanning the buckle, I'll move on to capturing the incisal anatomy of the anterior. I'll place the wand so that the cuspid and lateral are centered in the viewfinder. Then I'll roll from the lingual surface over the incisal edge to the buccal surface. I'll repeat this on the contralateral side. These scans help to ensure that the lingual and buccal segments are joined with the accurate incisal surfaces. This step is critical for properly fitting Invisalign aligners. Next, I will use the same scanning sequence and technique to complete the upper arch. The final segment is the bite. It's recommended to confirm the correct bite prior to scanning. When I'm ready to begin scanning, I'll have the patient open, use the wand to retract their cheek, and have the patient close in centric occlusion. Here I'll bring the wand tip gently against the teeth, observing the occlusion in the viewfinder. Moving forward in a small wave-like motion, I'll capture three to four teeth and then move to the contralateral side using the same technique. Once I've completed the two arches and bite, I'll tap on the view icon at the top of the touchscreen display to view my digital model in high resolution.